Uh, you mentioned, uh, going back to the glaciers for a moment, we see that glaciers, for example, in the Himalayas are contracting, they're melting. Alaska, United States state, has 100,000 glaciers that are, yeah. that are getting smaller. 13 of them are getting larger. In the Andes Mountains, the snowpack is disappearing to, in many areas of the Andes. Do you find that, I know you mentioned one of the largest glaciers in the yeah. world, do you find that happening in Tajikistan also? Yes, uh, same situation in uh, my country and uh, totally in uh, uh, Pamir uh, mountain areas. And uh, during last 35, uh, 40 years, we lost more than 35% uh, of our uh, glaciers. 35 percent It's very dangerous for the future, uh, uh, future of our region because, as I said, uh, our glaciers and snow covered our mountains are uh, the main sources of uh, 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 the uh, water uh, in our uh, rivers. Uh, that's why. Uh, uh, this is on one hand. On second hand, uh, uh, last four five years, there are a lot of raining in Tajikistan, and we faced with a lot is of. Is this because the climate is changing? Yes. This is part of climate yes. change. Global yes. warming is taking place. Yeah. You're yeah. getting more rain now than you did yeah. 10, 15, 20 yeah. years ago. And the water discharge in rivers doesn't decrease. It is. Uh, state same uh, which was uh, for example uh, 30 uh, 40 years ago and uh, sometimes there are more than uh, uh, normal normally uh, 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 discharges and uh, during these uh, years we had uh, a lot of uh, nature disasters water related nature disasters first of all mud flows landslides uh, and uh, plus, and uh, every year uh, my government uh, spends uh, more than uh, 20, uh, 25 percent of our budget for protecting of our uh, settlements, our uh, uh, peoples, and uh, uh, different uh, objects from uh, these uh, water-related nature, uh, natural disasters. Ambassador Oslov, in September of 2000, the countries of the world, basically all of them, came to New York and held the Millennium Summit. And out of that, they developed eight Millennium Development Goals, which they've been working towards, along with the private sector, along with non-governmental organizations, and a wide range of other groups. And of course, those goals, some of them are to reduce poverty by 50 percent, to promote sustainable development, to reduce infant mortality rates, and some really practical goals. Now. September 20th through the 22nd, there'll be a Millennium Development Goals Summit at the United Nations, and they're going to look at the goals to see how well the countries of the world are doing in reaching these goals as they move towards 2015. Water is a critical issue. What will you be doing to help put that on the agenda to make sure the countries of the world discuss this at the Millennium Development Goals Summit? Thank you. Uh, first of all, as you said that uh, the water uh, will be uh, in future uh, expensive than uh, oil and then other resources. On this point, I would like uh, also uh, to talk about one issue. It is regarding the hydropower energy. Uh, for example, in my country, we have more than uh, 528 uh, billion kilowatt hours our hydro energy potential in, but we are using only 3% of them. It is the source of ecologically clean uh, energy because it is an uh, alternative uh, source of energy. It is cannot uh, water energy uh, and then cannot uh, influence to the environment or to pollute the uh, uh, environment. Uh, and why I am saying uh, about this because uh, all of uh, implementation, all of our uh, goals, eight uh, of uh, Millennium Development Goals in my country depend on how we uh, can uh, use our water uh, resources. And uh, first of all, water resources can uh, 
provide us with uh, uh, energy, uh, electricity. Now the, uh, we can say more than 70% of difficulties in my country depend on energy lack, uh, electricity lack. We, can, we have not enough electricity for providing of our uh, uh, people and for providing of our industry, uh, etc. Uh, this is one. Second one, in, uh, uh, that's why we are very interested not only for uh, uh, the rational using on uh, water for agriculture, for drinking, uh, uh, for the, uh, the other sectors, also also for the uh, uh, generating of uh, electricity. This one and the second one about the uh, uh, introduction of the water issues, uh, water pro and sanitation problems in the uh, forthcoming uh, uh, MDG summit in uh, September, I would like to say that we are going together with uh, some other uh, missions, with USA mission, Sweden, uh, uh, and uh, other missions, uh, Senegal, uh, to organize special uh, side event on water and sanitation within uh, this uh, uh, Millennium Development Goals Summit, and where our presidents will uh, introduce uh, our achievements on this direction. First of all, my president will uh, introduce the uh, uh, water, uh, Dushanbe Water Declaration, which was uh, adopted uh, 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 in the beginning of June. And also, uh, we will introduce together the uh, uh, results of other uh, international uh, events on water and sanitation together with other uh, missions. Uh, and uh, uh, th through these uh, events, we would like to uh, have more uh, attention on water and sanitation. And in future, we would like uh, together with uh, other uh, missions to lead uh, uh, this issue, water issues, because of water, uh, very, very important. Now, as you know, uh, more than one billion people have not, uh, have not access to safety drinking water, more than uh, two uh, and uh, six uh, uh, billion people has not uh, access to uh, the um, uh, uh, simple s sanitations, and uh, every every year uh, uh, the 42,000 people die every week from diseases caused by the. Uh, uh, poor quality of drinking waters, uh, etc. And uh, water is, of course, the main uh, uh, source of life. And uh, uh, I, I think uh, we, as uh, the water-giving country, uh, we could contribute, my country uh, could con contribute more on this direction. We are appealing to all of the other neighboring our countries and other uh, regions and uh, developed countries uh, in order to involve for rational using of water for all of the countries and peoples, first of all, for poor uh, peoples. That's why water must be not only the source of drinking water, it must be the source of uh, uh, agriculture uh, uh, development, a source of energy, and uh, uh, we have to use uh, water for all of other, our purpose. Ambassador Oslov, we see that over, really over a billion people do not have access to clean water. This is a major problem. Of course, this contributes to waterborne diseases, it contributes to deaths. There are thousands of children who die every day because of this particular problem, but it's a major, major problem. Now, the governments of the world can do a lot, obviously, but the governments can't do everything, as we all know. They can certainly help motivate people and, and invest a certain amount, but it also takes involvement from the private sector and from non-governmental organizations, as well as the United Nations agencies. Let's talk just for a few moments who are some of your major partners in this particular battle to, to promote safe and sustainable water? 
and also what are some of the key UN agencies that you deal with in working towards this goal? Thank you. It's a very interesting uh, question. First of all, uh, as you know, uh, United Nations has a very good system. Uh, United Nations has UN water. As organization, it is not like uh, separate organizations. It is uh, like we can uh, say bureau. The members uh, of uh, uh, this UN waters, uh, approximately 27 agencies of United Nations, and uh, the Secretariat of UN Water located in UNDESA, and uh, that's why UNDESA is main important. Department for Economic and Social Affairs, <laughs> yeah, DESA. Yeah, okay. yeah. And uh, DESA is most important, our partner uh, on water issues. And also, of course, uh, UNICEF. Uh, the United Nations Children's Fund. Yes, and uh, UN uh, UNESCO, because of uh, UNESCO has different uh, programs, uh, and uh, as you know about uh, uh, World Water Development Project, uh, which is uh, this uh, located also in uh, France, in Paris, uh, in the office of uh, UNESCO, and uh, uh, UNDP, all of other uh, agencies, they have uh, different projects, and we have a uh, close cooperation with all of them. Exactly. Yeah. Of course, there are a lot of United Nations agencies that are working on this particular problem. The United Nations Environment Program is one that comes to mind, obviously, it's, obviously is one of the lead agencies, but also the United Nations General Assembly has designated March 22nd every year to be World Water Day. And again, this is a major date. It's one that will shine the spotlight on this particular resource. And why is it important for the, for the world, all of us, to look at World Water Day and to learn more about this particular problem? Yes, uh, the 22nd is very important day for, first of all, for us, it's uh, as, uh, most important day uh, for my mission because it's a World Water Day and uh, uh, every year so we are organizing different events on this year. And also I would like to add that, that uh, uh, my president already uh, proposed about the declaration of uh, 2012 as international uh, decade on water diplomacy. And in this uh, summit, uh, first coming summit and uh, uh, first coming uh, uh, general debate uh, in September, my president again will uh, propose uh, about this idea and uh, we think that um, uh, the other uh, states, uh, members of uh, UN, they will uh, support us. Uh, it means that uh, in 2012 we can uh, introduce more our efforts, I mean international community efforts on water issues and we will uh, do together a lot uh, uh, for the implementing of uh, internationally agreed goals on water issues. First of all, uh, on water cooperation in the transboundary river basins. Well, Ambassador Oslov, this has been a fascinating interview and it's really an important topic that we so often take for granted. We don't think about water when we turn on the tap or we open a bottle of plastic, uh, plastic and uh, water comes out of it because it's been bottled, but it is extremely important and this is an issue that maybe we haven't heard as much about it in the past as we need to, but we're certainly going to hear a lot more about it in the future. And I do want to thank you so very much for a very interesting and a very important discussion. Thank you for being with me on South South News. I'm Bill Miller. Thank you for joining us on South South News. Thank you.